Hello scramblers and climbers, Sarah Jane here, I brought Chi Chi along with me today. Uh, welcome to Sunday Club again and it's good to see you. Chi Chi and I have just been to the shops on the bus and back again on the bus, but we're home now so I can take off this mask. Oh, that's better. Chi Chi, you have been very naughty all the time we were out in the shops and on the bus. You were wearing your face mask on the top of your head. Show, show the children. That's no good. Why did you do that? That's what you have to do. Who said so? You did. Chi Chi, the government makes the rules. You don't make the rules. But your rule is easier to keep. And Chi Chi, wearing your mask on your head is not going to stop anybody getting coronavirus and it might get you in trouble. You think it's me who's going to get in trouble because I didn't keep your rule. Chi Chi, you're being very stubborn. You won't keep the real rules and you keep making up your own rules, which aren't any good at all. Boys and girls, I think we need to take Chi Chi to the vet and see if the vet can take out, do an operation to take out Chi Chi's stubbornness. We go and get ready. Right. We're ready uh, for Chi Chi's special operation to uh, take out his stubbornness. This has never been tried before. Chi Chi's all ready. I've got my doctor's bag. So let's get started. Now, the first thing they have to do is to find his stubbornness. So uh, where shall we look? Is it in his foot? No, can't see any stubbornness there. What about his... And no, can't see any stubbornness. Maybe it's in his tummy. No, can't see any stubbornness there. What about his ear? No, I wonder where his stubbornness is. One last thing we might try in his mouth. Let's just have a look there. No, no stubbornness there. I don't think there's any operation that any vet could do that would take the stubbornness out of Chi Chi. Because stubbornness is an attitude, isn't it? It's part of the way we behave. Stubbornness is refusing to do what we're told. It's refusing to believe even when there's lots and lots of evidence to show us that something's true. Stubbornness is refusing to admit when we're wrong. We're going to have a story today about how Jesus met some very stubborn people when he healed a man. And we'll find out what happened. And at the end of the story, see if you can tell your mums and dads or whoever you're watching with, how did Jesus heal the man? Who was being so angry with Jesus and so stubborn? And what did their stubbornness make them want to do to Jesus? Let's have the story. Do you remember, the religious leaders had been getting more and more cross with Jesus. They didn't like it when he said he had God's power to forgive sins. They really didn't like it when he suggested they were sinners themselves and needed God's forgiveness, just like sick people who need a doctor. In today's story, it was the seventh day of the week, which was called the Sabbath. It was a day when God said everyone must stop their normal jobs, take a rest and think about him. So Jesus went to the synagogue. That was a bit like a church, somewhere to go to learn about God together. Everyone went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day. There was a man there whose hand was shriveled. That means all dried up. Look at these two leaves. One is green and soft. The other is all wrinkly and dry. And look at these flowers. One is still beautiful. The other has shriveled and died. Well, the man's hand was wrinkly and shriveled and dried up. He couldn't use it to cut up his food or high five or wave or get dressed in the morning or do his work. He wasn't dying, but wouldn't it be amazingly wonderful if Jesus made his hand better? The religious leaders were in the synagogue too. They thought this was their chance to catch Jesus out. 
God always wants us to do good every day of the week. But they had made up lots of rules of their own. One of them was that you mustn't heal anyone on the Sabbath day unless you were saving their life. They said that was the true meaning of God's rule. But it wasn't really. It was just their made-up rule. They watched carefully to see if Jesus would break their made-up rule. If he did, they could say he was a bad man. But if he kept their rule, people would think Jesus didn't care about the man's poorly hand. Either way, people would stop loving and following Jesus. What was Jesus going to do? Jesus turned and spoke to the religious leaders. What does God say we can do on the Sabbath day? he asked. Should we do good things or bad things? Should we save lives or kill people? Now it was the religious leaders who were caught out. Of course, they knew God always wants us to do good every day of the week. But if they said so, it would mean it was okay for Jesus to heal the man. They didn't want to admit that Jesus was right. And they didn't want to admit that their rules were made up and wrong either. They were stubborn, so they didn't say anything at all. Jesus was very angry with them. He was also very sad that they were so stubborn. They knew Jesus was right, but they wouldn't admit it. They'd been shown that they were wrong, but they wouldn't admit that either. Jesus said to the man, stretch out your hand. In view of everyone, the man stretched it out and at once his hand became well again. He would be able to use it to eat and high five and wave and get dressed in the morning and do his work. That was amazingly wonderful. But do you know, the religious leaders were still stubborn. They hated Jesus even more and began to plot with Jesus' other enemies how they could kill him. You might want to pause the video for a moment and talk to your mum and dad, or whoever you're watching with, about the answers to these questions. How did Jesus heal the man? Who was angry with Jesus and stubborn? What did they want to do to him? Hi Chi Chi, so uh, have you recovered from your visit to the vet? And did you listen to the story? And did you get all the answers right? Uh, let's just see whether you did. How did Jesus make the man better? That's right, he, he, he made his hand better. And who was it who was so angry and stubborn Religious leaders, well done. And what did all their stubbornness make them want to do to Jesus? They wanted to kill him, yeah. You don't need to hit my head just to show me that. So you know the answers, don't you? But Chi Chi is still being stubborn. He's made up a new rule. The new rule says you have to wear your face mask all the time, even in bed, but you can take it off on the bus or in shops. I think that's not right, isn't it? It'd be, it would be hopeless keeping that rule. It wouldn't be good for other people at all. But Chi Chi thinks he's very special because he's the only person who keeps that rule. Chi Chi, you're still being stubborn. If there was a vet who could take out stubbornness, if there was, would you want them to? That's real stubbornness. Children... When we tell people about Jesus, we're telling them good news. Jesus came to do what's best for us and to give us life. But the religious leaders in the story hated him for that. And some people today, even when they hear the good news about Jesus, refuse to become his friends. They're stubborn. Maybe you know somebody like that, or your mums and dads could tell you about somebody like that. Dr. Jesus is better than any doctor or vet. He can take out stubbornness but he will only do it for people who want him to. So let's pray. Father God, thank you that Jesus came to do us good. Thank you that even when the religious leaders did kill him on the cross, he came back to life so that we can live forever with him. Please help us to go on telling people about Jesus, even though not everyone will listen. Please may many people, especially those we know, listen and become his friends. Amen. So children, that's all for today. 
there are the usual games and crafts and the email that your mums and dads have received. So we'll see you next week. Bye.